Hello everybody. Welcome back to Washo. We are finally back and I assume we're ready to do some work. Um well we've been we've been working. Doesn't look like a Mulligan in our bank account up there, but we have been doing a lot. Uh turns out when the last time I was here, the last time I left you, we had pretty much done everything. All our fields were fertilized, they were ready to ready to grow. That's all we had to do was wait on them to grow, so I wasn't sure what I how I was gonna spend the rest of my next uh, day day and a half waiting on them to grow so what i did was started doing contracts and oh my goodness did we make some money doing contracts i ended up making well total we've made over three hundred thousand dollars doing contracts in a in a day and a half and uh we ended up buying a 84 foot field cultivator right here it is to make our cultivating jobs go that much faster on the big fields and what we also did was started doing fertilizer and sowing contracts because we are making our own seed and fertilizer now. There's no overhead on those. We didn't have to pay anything, so it's all profit. Um, so even the smaller fields, we're making between six and $9,000 on just for a couple minutes work. So I have been going crazy on some contracts, getting them all done. Uh, bought, like I say, bought the cultivator there. Uh, I don't believe I bought anything else. We did put a little store in right here. You know, a little lemonade stand for the kids. <laughs> We've started selling our eggs here. And it turns out it's incredibly profitable. I try not to crash into it. So yeah, not much on the shelves in there. Actually, it looks bare right there. Yeah, there you go. So there's something in there. We're making a little money off of that. Something to keep the uh, Mrs. Jockey and the, the kids entertained with. They like making a little money, so that's pretty cool. And, yeah, other than that, like I said, we've just been working, waiting on everything to grow. So we're on our way up to the bunker now, get rid of some fuel, make some money back. We have made some payments to the bank as well. Our loan is under a million, finally. We are down to $920,000 in debt, and I want to get that paid off, or paid down fairly quickly. It came became apparent during my contract run there that we need a boom sprayer. I've said it before, but... We really need one, so especially as our fields get bigger. Uh, I guess that's what we'll be saving for. And I don't want just anyone, I want a big one, so we're gonna need quite a few hundred thousand dollars for one of those. And yeah, let me see what else has been going on. Oh, well, everything's ready to harvest now. I don't know if, suppose I've said that. Uh, so we will be making some diesel today, we're finally making some fuel. This is not, what's in the tank here is not our biodiesel. We did purchase this, so hopefully by the end of the day we'll be making our own ready to take out here. And, yeah, you know, all that kind of good jazz. Let's see, we got to get up here, open this gate. I never can get this thing backed in on the first try. I always miss the trigger there. Oh. And we throw the truck. Always go too far. Let's see if we can hit it. Just not quite enough room. My, my setup's a little bit too long here. Oh yeah, I think we got it this time. Nope, got too hard. Never fails. The problem is once you get it in here right in the middle of the trigger, then you can't make the turn to get out, so. First world problems, huh? There we go. Alright, we're making a little bit of money here. I'll get ready for the gate once it starts to shut. That thing always shuts just as the tank is finishing. What was that? This place is creepy. I don't like it. Anyways, alright, like I say, we're glad to be back. We are ready to get some harvesting done. Every field is ready to go. I think I'm going to harvest the canola first just so we can start the... Uh, diesel production part of it and let that go while we are doing the wheat so there we go $69,000 so we only made about $19,000 off that load that was not not that impressive was it oh yeah this is not gonna go good swing it wide here we go um so the price isn't that great now hopefully tomorrow it won't really matter that would be $69,000 of profit versus 19,000 if we can make our own so 
that's what we're doing here. We're hoping this whole thing is going to pay off. If not, it's just a great big exercise in futility. You sure it's fun? Huh? Don't get don't get me wrong. But yeah, we we need this hippie thing to pay off here if we're going to stay off the grid and make all our own money. Once we start the cycle, hopefully it uh, hopefully we won't be able to count all the money that's coming in. But yeah, that's the plan. So uh, let's see what we have to do now. I'm going to take the tank, fill it up, and drop it off. And then I have to come right back to field number one here. Uh, we got done harvesting that. And there is our Wilson trailer has about 18,000 liters of oats in it that are left over from that contract. We got to take those home with us. So uh, we'll check the price. If the price is decent on oats, we'll sell it. If not, we'll just put them in storage, hang on to them for later. Uh, maybe down the road we'll end up with horses. Who knows? Oh, this is going to be a good one. Yeah, watch out there. Coming through. So, all right. We got that field is wheat ready to go. Field number nine just in front of us is also wheat ready to go. And then the other three canola fields. So, we got a lot of harvesting to do. Uh, I said I was going to get fuel, didn't I? Kept on running my mouth and just didn't do it. All right. So, the harvester is here along with our new cultivator. And they are both supremely muddy from all the work we've done. So I want to get those cleaned off before we start uh, our harvesting. Get us, you know, nice fresh start there. So let me take this over, fill it up. Then I'll go get the Wilson and we'll get a Wilson moved over near, I guess we'll put it in between 13 and 14. We're going to let Mr. John drive the harvester and uh, we're going to follow in the case with the auger wagon. So we will leave the the superliner here with the Wilson trailer behind it parked at the edge of the field and we'll just we'll cart up to it that's the plan anyways so yeah let me do those things get this thing all jockeyed around and I'll be right back all right we got everything moved over there this is what I'm talking about right here check this out field number one field number three both sewing contracts forty one thousand and thirty seven thousand dollars respectively and we have enough seed to do that, I believe. I have 25,000 liters, maybe 22,000 liters of seed left. Uh, enough to fill the Great Plains Cedar up anyways. And, yeah, that's all I have to pay for is labor right there. So even if uh, <laughs> even if the labor is $10,000, you know, we, that's $30,000 profit just for letting my machines run. So basically we're just subcontractors at that point, which is fine by me. So we're going to get this cultivator cleaned off. We're going to get the... Uh, Big John Deere here hooked up to the Great Plains, get it filled up, and we're going to take it over to field number one. We're going to let John take over that instead of the, running the harvester, and yeah, we're going to go make some money. That's, what, almost $80,000 to plant those two fields right there. I think we'll take that, and, um, you know, we'll make more seed for our fields before, uh, you know, after the harvest here, so before we're ready to plant again. We will have our own seed uh, remade, hopefully. So yeah, I mean, that's $80,000 right there for two fields, right? You cannot go wrong with that. Everybody's got to like that. So let's get this bad boy cleaned off. We'll go ahead and wash the Challenger while we're here. Spray it all down, make it nice and pretty before we put it away. This thing gets super dirty, buddy. Well, except for the tires. We like to keep them all shined up. Looking pretty. Anyways. So yeah, we'll take the uh, Challenger over. Get started on, I guess we'll start on field number 16. And we got a new guy helping us. A uh, little young dude in town. His name is Logan. Logan is a pirate. He has an eye patch on. We'll have to find out what that's all about. But we're going to put the pirate to work. Let him drive the harvester. And we will run cart for him. And, uh, yeah, like I say, Mr. John will be over in the big boy making some big money. Life is good, huh? This thing is, yeah, I like it. Gonna work out all right. I think that's probably clean enough. We're about to go get it real dirty anyways. We're out of hose. I can't go any farther back, so we'll call that good enough. Put that up. Let's jump in here. Now, we had a new uh, shelter put in up on top of the hill, too. I don't think I've shown you guys that. Uh, we had all the gravel put in down here. That was quite expensive. 
Uh, like I say, we've been making piles of money, and as soon as we make it, I've been spending it, doing what I'm good at. So, yeah, I like it. We got, uh, yeah, like I say, we had a big shed put in. We have to, uh, the ones we had, the harvester here wouldn't fit under, and uh, the Great Plains planter was too long for. You had to pull it in a long ways, so kind of took up the whole shed. We had to get something a little bigger. I guess some point today we are going to have to... Oh, I forgot. I had eggs loaded up on the truck. Those are ready to go sell. I'm going to run those down to our little storefront down there for the kids. Uh, we got some manure I need to scrape up. Might as well bring it over here to the fertilizer plant. And... Yeah, that's it. Drop that there. Let's pull over here. We'll get backed up here, and then I'm going to go take a look at the uh, what kind of production we've got out of our little buildings over here. All right, so this has 2,000 liters of fertilizer. We had nothing in there. And we have 25,000 liters of seed. So that is definitely more than enough to plant those two fields. So that'll be $80,000 of profit minus labor cost and fuel. That's about all we got into it. So that's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. And then, like I say, we will take uh, that manure, put it in here to make even more fertilizer. And then when we harvest the wheat and barley from fields nine and four, we'll put those and the fertilizer into the seed production. So we'll be making even more seed. And the whole time that's going on, we're going to be putting canola into the biodiesel production. And we'll be making fuel too. And pig food. Oh, I love it. This is, <laughs> this is going to work out just great. Let's go ahead and pull around. I assume we can fill directly into this thing. I hope so. 25,000 liters of seed. That's awesome. Here we go. Well, <laughs> it was almost full. I didn't even realize. All right, so we will run this up to field number one. We're going to turn John loose on this bad boy. That will be a $40,000 contract. $41,000, I think it was. And no overhead for us. So, yeah, pretty good. And I'm fairly certain that because it's a contract, once it runs out of fertilizer, the planter that is, that uh, he can keep going because it's not part of the contract. All we have to do is put seed in the ground, so I'm pretty sure he will keep going with just uh, just seed in there. I don't think he'll stop and say the tank is empty. I hope not anyway. That, that, now that's going to get expensive if we have to start putting fertilizer in there, but that's all right. Can't use that much. Oh, it's already 1130. Goodness, this day is slipping away from us. We have too much to do. And... Uh, That field, when we first bought it, that was one of the first ones we got. It looked pretty big when we first got it. Now it's a little tiny field. Uh-oh, watch out, road sign. You see that already happened to this road sign up here. We have to have to take turns a little different with the triples on here. Going to make our own path. This field right in front of us was one of our most profitable contracts, too. Uh, we sowed the cotton in that field, and that was uh, $33,000. And again, all we had to pay was labor, so, uh, yeah, this whole production thing is, is going to work out better than I even planned. I had planned on just using the seed for ourselves, but if we can do it with everything, hey, why not, right? Uh, let's see, part of the contract is soybeans. I don't believe I've accepted the contract. There we go. Now it's active. Plant field, sow field one with soybeans. There you go. Pull down here, turn him loose. Now, eventually, after we get our boom sprayer, the next big purchase I'm going to get is going to be uh, a seed cart. We're going to get a much, much bigger planter. <laughs> Way more expensive, but, uh, you know, they're a third bigger than this Great Plains right here, so that'll help us out a whole lot. Anyways, all right. There's Mr. John. We're going to turn him loose in here. Yep. Get him stopped. 
and we are going to go move some equipment over and get ready to harvest. We've already picked the Wilson up. It is dumped out in our silo. We decided to keep the oats. So, yeah, let's go harvest some canola and get some real money made. I'll be right back. All right. I said I was going to wait. We'll do a whole Wilson trailer for the seed, uh, or I'm sorry, the diesel production, but I just can't wait. I just want to see how it's going to work. So we're going to fill this hopper up here, and we're going to take it up and see if we can dump straight into there. Uh, 30,000 liters and see what kind of fuel we come up with hopefully <laughs> hopefully we have enough to fill at least a couple tankers up uh, off of these two fields I'm not sure if it's gonna work out that way or not but uh, it would be really nice to come up with several several thousand gallons um, yeah, I guess that would be the only part of this that wouldn't be profitable at this point. We've already figured out how to maximize our profit from seed and fertilizer, so... Let's see what we get out of 30,000 liters. If we get 10,000 liters of fuel... That seems optimistic, though. I just can't remember how much I put in the last time, and I only got 2,000 liters of fuel out of there, so... I uh, don't know if it was 30,000 or not, but... Wait, that, that might be the dump right there. Yeah. Hold up. There we go. Alright, so she's emptying out there. It'll take us just a little bit to see what we're going to get. I guess we can stay right there. Hopefully, um, I know we're going to get plenty of pig food. We're going to, I think what we're going to do is, I think I mentioned this before, we're going to up the herd, the pig herd, the size of our bacon holdings, I suppose. Here goes 29,000 liters in. Already got 20 liters, look at that. Going up 20 at a time. That might take a while if it goes up 20 at a time. Looks like for every 200 liters it processes, 180 are going to big food. Let's see if it goes to 360 and 40 there. If it does, we'll have some sort of idea what we're looking at anyways. Uh, hello? Some kind of switch around here. We can make this thing go a little faster. It is quite a setup, though. I don't like it. All right, come on here. We got other things we need to do. So 29,000 liters. Yeah, that was 30,000 when we started. So no, that was more than more than 200 liters to make those 200 liters of product there. Not quite sure what the ratio is. It did go to 360 and 40 though. All right. Well, here we go. So we got 2,000 liters of fertilizer. We have, what, 40 liters of fuel. It's gonna take a while to get 32,000 liters out of that, isn't it? I don't know if this process is gonna work. We're gonna have to get more canola fields. But we do have 24,000 liters of seed, and if nothing else, we can just become contractors around here. We'll go get us a bunch of big equipment and some seed carts, and we'll start planting fields for $40,000 a pop. Yeah, we can always sell the pig food, do what we don't need. We can sell that stuff's pretty profitable. And I jumped in and turned the engine off. Anyways. Alright, let's get back over here. Our man Logan is tearing it up over here. He is uh, the one-eyed bandit. And going at it. Let's see. Oh, we did put a road in over here, too. I don't think I've showed you this. I had to uh, do a little landscaping here. Just to uh, make sure the trailers could come down here without making wheels come off the ground. It was a little bit too steep before, so we had to smooth it out right through there. I think that's a whole lot better. I even had enough gravel put in for a little turnaround down here. So we could park the Wilson down here, I suppose. But I tucked it up in between the two rocks up here. That way should be okay in that spot for both fields. Um, of course, at the rate we're going, I don't know how often I'm going to have to empty it in there. <laughs> the thing is, Mr. Logan is going to town, and he's not full yet, so... I don't know if we'll get a whole hopper, or a whole trailer full off of both these fields. 
in which case we're definitely not going to make enough diesel to uh, fully run our contracts. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. At the moment, though, the math does not look particularly great. But, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? We got enough other things we can do to make money. It's not like we're hurting that bad. Um, just be a little disappointing. <laughs> our, our main plan was to get that, that big to make that much fuel, so... We're just going to have to keep working, making money, and buying fields. Eventually, maybe we can plant this whole map in canola, and at that point, surely we'll be making enough. But that's all right. No big deal, right? What are you going to do? Matter of fact, let's go see. We'll jump up in here with him. See how much he's got. 95. He's at 80%. All right. Whoa. Jump out on top of him there. We'll make, wait till he makes the turn, and we'll uh, we'll do a pass beside him there. Get him nice and emptied out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think we'll call it a day there. Sounds pretty good. Um, I do want to apologize for it being so long in between episodes. Man, I had one of those weeks that it just wouldn't end. It was awful. Uh, in a seven-day period, I had bronchitis. I had split my shin open <laughs> enough that it required stitches. And I lost Mr. Squirrel, so we had a tough week. It was it was a bad week to be a jockey, but that's all right. That only means the next one's got to be better, right? But we're back at it now. Let's get to work. And yeah, hopefully we don't have anything like that happen this week. We need a nice calm week. Sure would be nice. But either way, uh, let's see. I gotta adjust the speed down here. We're about to set the cruise and take off. There we go. Too many buttons to push at once and try to drive straight. It's like patting your head and rubbing your belly. It's a whole lot to do. But anyways, all right. Good to be back. Sorry it took me so long. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day. <laughs>